I'm delighted to say we've come to Belgium to meet the world champion, Luca Brazil. How are you doing? Thanks, Steve. You all right? Excellent. Yeah, good. How's good. life been since being yeah, world champion? Yeah, good. Been enjoying myself. Yeah. Lots of holidays, uh, drinking and eating. <laughs> Have you come back down to earth yet? Or is it, did it? Yeah. Because you're quite, you're quite level-headed. You. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I loved winning it on the table. You know, the feeling on the table was amazing. Um, I would say, apart from that, um, the feeling is not as good as you would think. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would say, maybe. Um, but, yeah, I'm still enjoying myself. Amazing. You break off. Let's have a game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I almost win. It's, it's almost like a, an anti-climax. Yeah. When you win at the end. I mean, obviously the elation of winning the World Cup, but it's like once it's the, you've had the trophy, and it's like, did you feel that a little bit like, yeah. what to do next? As I said, when I put the winning ball, it was, Unbelievable the yeah. feeling, but after that it's it's I don't know, it just feels so normal after a while. I don't know why. Ooh. So have you um, played at all since? No, not much. I play in a, a little uh, six red tournament every week Tuesday. Right. Okay. But apart from that, I don't really. So play. When, <laughs> when are you going to start getting ready for the new season? Uh, probably two or three weeks before okay. I'll start playing again. Right. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, very much actually. Yeah. 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 To play as a world champion, I think it's going to be yeah. special. Yeah. I, I, I used to love being the target, being yeah. the one that everyone wanted to beat. So you've got that this year. So you think you're going to enjoy that? That situation? Yeah, it's going to be new for me. You know, I've never been. Yeah. It's never been like that. So uh, looking forward to the challenge. You know, yeah. Because a lot of expectation and. Of course. Yeah. The spotlight's going to be on me, so it's going to be different. But well, yeah, I mean, it's you're going to be the favourite in, mo in pretty much every match you play. Now you're going yeah. to be the favourite to win, so that's yeah. that's a completely different pressure. Exactly, yeah. So yeah, like your hot favourite to beat me today. So can you know, yeah. see if you cope with it. So is this a club where you you practice? No, I play I play at home. I've got a table at home, but okay. this is where I started. This is where you started playing? Yeah, when I was nine. This I played my first shot on this table. Really? Ever. Wait, yeah. I, I can't, I'm not going to try and pronounce the, where we are. Where, where are we in Belgium? Masmechelen. 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 <laughs> it's very good. Okay. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where you first started playing on this very table? What age? Uh, nine. Nine and a half. Nine and a half, yeah. yeah. Because I remember playing you in an exhibition. I think it was Bruges, and you were 13 or 13, 12. Yeah. And you, I broke off, you cleared the table. Yeah. I'm like, wow, yeah, who, who is this kid? Seven or something. Yeah. yeah. Who is this kid? <laughs> <laughs> I also played you once in uh, Antwerp. I was only 10. Really? And I made I a 44 break. Uh, so I, I, I blank out these defeats. <laughs> I tried to blank out these defeats to 10 year olds. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> Was your dad good at snooker or anyone? Where, where no, did the talent no, come from? No one in the family was any good at snooker. Really? So it's just me. Are you just, um, born, just born with this talent? Yeah, I guess, yeah. I was also quite quite good at football. Okay. So I think it's just any sport with, with balls, you know, I right, think okay. I'm quite good at maybe. Less, uh, less pain, I suppose, with snooker, right? Huh? Football, you get tackled, uh, less, less. Yeah, less it's more <laughs> safe. <laughs> Did you play for the black? That was very casual. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I'm on a max. I don't know if you know. <laughs> well, I mean, this could be this could be the first maximum on the on the Q-Tips YouTube channel. This would be amazing. If it gets, I'll stop talking. If, it, if you get if you get quite close to it. So, did you start with a like a, a small table or anything? Or you go just straight on the full size table? Straight on this one. Yeah. Really? Just yeah. That's I played nice. pool maybe for a couple of weeks when okay. I started and. Then straight to, to this table, yeah. Right. Okay. Any coaches or any? Yeah, I had a coach, uh, Danny, for maybe five, six years. Right. Then I turned professional, and then I stopped with coaches. I've right. had Chris a couple yeah. of times, and yeah. he's very good, I think. But I think once you get to a certain level, you don't really need coaches. I think. That's well, my yeah. Opinion. I mean, I I, 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 I've had two or three coaches, and I must admit, <laughs> it, it's they, they they can be good at some stages if you yeah. if you're not playing well. So you need. Sometimes you need someone to look from the outside yeah. and see, but I think too much is, is, is too much. Yeah. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. Mm. This is a... And you always had this long bridge. How's it go? Didn't you? Oof, like, I mean, it's, like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I've always had it, but 
Because uh, when, when, com- s- when I'm commentating and I see it's like, like, like this shot here, I'm thinking, oh, how is he going to screw? I, I would miss Q if I tried yeah, to like, bridge, yeah. bridge this, this For me, it this feels distance. very natural and very yeah. normal. It's, it's, it's quite unique, actually, yeah. in the game. And you have no, no like, feathers, no, like, it's just... No, not really, no. I've always played like this, and yeah, I've never really seen the problem of it, you know? Yeah. Into the reds. Oh, I shouldn't have spoke there because that's that's that could well, have been that I could have been amazing. Red, actually, so it's you got world <laughs> champions luck. Look, that's what happens when you're world champion. When you miss, you leave absolutely nothing. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, ah, shot. Hey, when you start practicing again, how often? How long will you play? Um, an hour a day, maybe. So that that. That is true about the the, the practice regime. Is it's oh, it's very true. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, um, everyone was talking about the World Championship, the the the, the preparation. Yeah, and you said <laughs> you were just playing darts and drinking beer. It was true. I, I really I didn't play for three or four weeks before right. the Worlds. Yeah, because uh, in, the, in my first game against Ricky, like the warm up, that was my first practice. Okay, for like ten or fifteen minutes. Since when? For, for Three, four weeks. Are you kidding? So you turned up the crucible. You hadn't played for three, four Not weeks. Not one shot. <laughs> That's incredible. That, I mean, that that just goes against anything that I ever yeah. like, believed in the world. I mean, I was like, I'd be five, six hours a day, pound and pound yeah. and pound. And you just, I mean, was that uh, is that every tournament? Or was that just for the world championship? No, thought? just the worlds. Normally, I, I do practice. Um, like I've, I've had other tournaments where I don't practice, uh, right. like China Championship 2017. I didn't practice even right. at the tournament. And that's what you won that one. I won it. <laughs> So, uh, so I've done it a couple of times, but uh, sometimes it feels really good when I don't practice, but sometimes you feel really rusty. Right, okay. Um, so, um, so are you going to continue that for this season or? No, no? it's just a feeling, you know. So sometimes you just feel like I, I just don't want to play kind of I just of thing. don't want to play, that's, that's why right. I don't practice, you know. It's not like a conscious decision to not practice. It, did it have anything to do with the fact that, because that was the, your fifth attempt, is that right, to win a match at the Crucible? Sixth, I think. Sixth? Yeah. yeah. So was that part of the reason or? Yeah, maybe, yeah, because... Yeah. Um, so All the other pro- attempts, I, I was practicing, yeah. and I didn't win, so I was like, yeah, something needs to change, you know. Um, and the, the, <laughs> the craziest thing is, I didn't go to the press conference here the day before the Worlds. Oh, okay. But in my mind, a week before, I was thinking, if I'm going, I'm going to say I'm going to win the World Championship <laughs> to all the, the yeah. press, you know. So right. that was a crazy thing, because... Because I, I, I actually said that... Um, when you won the first match, I actually commented on your second session against Ricky Walden. Yeah. And I th- you were way in front and he started coming back. Mm-hmm. And I could see you were like, you, d- you were laughing. Like, it, was, it, was, it was quite uncomfortable almost. But then when you, when you won it, I thought, he's going to fly in this tournament now. Yeah. Because you have finally got over that hurdle of winning yeah. a match. Listen, I, I didn't expect you were going to win it. But I thought no, you were going to fly. No one did. No one I thought did. you were going to no. fly. No. But, and we've just, it's taken me... And I live closer to the Euro Tunnel than you, than, yeah. than in Sheffield. It's taken us six hours to get here. You came from Sheffield in between matches. Yeah. How long did it take? It took Must me about eight or nine hours every time. And I did it between each match. So, each, so you've done it twice? Uh, three times, I think. Three yeah. times during yeah. the championship? Yeah. After Ricky, after Williams and after Ron. And you just came back and, and basically chilled out? Yeah, I even went partying after the Williams game. Uh, <laughs> which... Which is also crazy because I don't really party. <laughs> it, no, I mean it's not. Normally, it's, it's, you know? it's, or normally you don't party. No, really. I don't. I don't like it to be honest. So, <laughs> so that was just that was a phase. <laughs> so you, your girlfriend you were now you met her just before the world championship. Yeah, about right? two weeks before the world championship. I mean, you watched so. everything. What story? Is that why you weren't practicing? No, that wasn't the reason. <laughs> Could have been, but there wasn't the reason. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh. Safety. What's going on? <laughs> I know. Well, I didn't have a pot. I mean, even I play safe sometimes. It's not something you do a lot of either, is it? No. Safety play. I mean, I, I was, I was so glad that. Um, I mean, I have nothing against Mark Selby. He's an absolute legend of the game. But I mean, I was so glad that you, you won because of the way you play. Mm-hmm. It's just. I just, I just, yeah, just love, love to watch to it. anyone else, I think. Just yeah. love to watch it. Oh. 
Yeah, you can't. You can't. I mean, <laughs> it's, a, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy game. Brilliant. <laughs> what, tell me, what, what were you thinking when you were 14 5 down to seize your way? Uh, what were you thinking in the seat? Uh, it's a horrible feeling. You, want, yeah. you just want to go home. But there was a lot of people in the crowd saying, come on, Luca, you know? Right. And that's what kept me motivated, I think. Right. Because I was going to break off at 14 5 and I put the cue ball down. And everyone was like, come on, Luca, come on, Luca. Right. And that gave me inspiration. Yeah. Because it. I didn't. I wasn't working on that the session. But apparently, did he go for a, a, a blue or something that maybe he didn't need to go for, and missed yeah, it? Yeah, and I then think you go and then yeah, the cuba was something like this, I think, and he went for the blue. But I mean, he'd been getting them the whole match. I mean, yeah. you can't really say it was a no, bad choice. No. But probably everyone else in the game. Well, maybe apart from yourself. Yeah, but if he would have done the roll up, then yeah, I was in big trouble. So, but yeah. Um, yeah, he played so many shots that you shouldn't go for, but he, yeah. he got them, you know. How did you feel in um, walking out in the final, the first world final? I think the first frame, I won it in six minutes, so that settled yeah, me down. That's right, yeah. But for me, the, the difficult part was the semi-final because I'd never been in the one table setup, you know, in, in the yeah. Crucible, and it was so different. I think I told you in the yeah. in mid-session, yeah. backstage, I told you, and it, it's so different. It just feels yeah. like a different There's, de there's definitely mo a different pressure, the semis, yeah. to get to the final, because yeah. once you're there, that you just you kind of enjoy it, right? Yeah. But also just the feeling, you know, because normally you're close to the table and now suddenly it's, it's a long walk to the seat and it's so... Yeah. Uh, it, it took me a bit of time to settle had you ever been? Had you ever been to the Crucible when it was one table? Ever seen it? No, no, no. Like, you never, never even no. seen it, so... No. Yeah. Did you no. go out before the match and have a look around? No, I'm or? not one no. No? for those things. I don't right. do those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. I, I, I didn't do it either, I must, I must admit. I spoke one of the yeah. sessions that everyone remembers is the, the Ronnie O'Sullivan, seven frames in a row. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying this, by the way? This old man can still <laughs> pop <pause. laughs> So have you thought about the um, Crucible curse yet? Uh, yeah, I think I can do it actually, Yeah, to be honest. I, yeah, I think I, mean, I can I, do I, it. This doesn't go. No, I didn't think it uh, went. I think almost if anyone was going to do it, it'd be yourself because you just yeah. the attitude just not yeah not paying attention to it. I, I don't really care about those things. So no. for me, it's just if I play well, then I can do it. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I think you said in a, an, in, an interview you don't care about losing, and that makes um, you like a dangerous. You, obviously, you don't like it, yeah. but it doesn't it doesn't bother you too much. So. You're not under pressure? No, not too much, but it, did, it would have been in the World Championship though. If I would have yeah. lost the final, I would be so sick of it. Because, yeah, when he was coming back from 16.10 to 16.15, I was just gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, the way he was playing, I was, I was, I was on the commentary, and I, and I couldn't see you winning another frame at that stage. No, just because of the way he was playing. And, and your, your, your long game had gone a little bit, right? Yeah. You couldn't put a long ball. No. And then, but then he missed that. But how, I mean, he missed that black of a spot and God, you just punished him. It was just, yeah, it was amazing. I knew if I got to 17, I would win it. Yeah. It's the best feeling in the world, right? When you're putting the final few balls, when you know you've won. Yeah. yeah the, be the best feeling you've ever had in snooker must, must, must yeah. be. Yeah, must yeah. Be. The, the red in the middle to win it, yeah. Could you, could you hear all the, um, when, I was, when you're clearing the balls, you can sort of hear Everyone. No, but I could see them standing there when it was when I was 17, 15 up. Right. Because uh, I went to the toilet. Right. And everyone was there backstage, you know. Yeah. Like next to the commentary box. Right. And so that's that. Yeah. That was the moment. And, right and but but when you see that, it's hard not to think ahead mm -hmm. and think yeah. and think. I'm only yeah. one frame away. Um, the way I always think when I'm close to a win, it's always like I just don't want to lose. <laughs> Doesn't matter how, but. And what's um, what's the reaction we back here in Belgium? Since have you have you yeah unbelievable yeah, yeah. Um, I would get rec recognised before but now it's just right totally different first yeah. first first player ever from continental Europe to win the world yeah. championship right yeah yeah have you been like on TV shows or done yeah I get many requests I don't yeah. always do them right um, because it's not really my thing but um, yeah many many requests and just on the streets so many people coming up to me and really yeah, it's been uh, so it's it's, it's, a so lot. it's, it's, it's it has changed. Yeah, it's been Change a lot, life. and yeah, it's part of it, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's too hard. Oh, nice touch.
when was the first time you picked up your cue then? Because you had a couple of exhibitions, have you? Since yeah, I had one in Romania in June. I played Jimmy there, um, right. which was fun. How was it like being introduced as world champion? Good? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I, I don't really. It doesn't really, really change anything for yeah. me. You know, I just love the feeling of winning. You know, it doesn't matter which tournament. So when you, when you play for, a, a, you say you play for an hour a day. What do you do? I just table? play frames. That's myself. Just play frames. Yeah, an hour on your own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I say an hour a day, but that doesn't even happen a lot. You know. So yeah, you must need your, your uh, table recovered very, very much at no, home. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> it's, it's still new. Actually, since I put the table in my house, I haven't really played a lot, to be honest. Right. It's, Not it's much. quite a difficult thing to do at home, I think, to practice at home. Because it's, yeah, you, can have, you can have distractions. Practice and, anyway, because yeah. sometimes I play a couple of shots and then I feel sharp and I'm like, why, why should I carry on? <laughs> <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> I think every, every like, snooker person watches it like, think, wow. Yeah, yeah. But S Steve Davis and I had a, had a conversation about it. I think, mm, yeah, maybe I it's, that, you know, yeah. it's, it's right. I mean, maybe it, players over practice. Yeah. Because I remember I used to practice, like, and because my manager was on me, you must practice five, six hours a day. And after two hours, I'm playing out my skin. Yeah. And then you keep on doing it. And by the time you, you start missing, mm -hmm. and then you, at the end of it, and then you think, you know, what, I, what have I done? I, yeah. You know, I should have left yeah. when it was absolutely perfect. Yeah, because I mean, I've tried it so many times to go to a tournament without practicing a lot. Yeah, and I've played well most of the time. So right, it's not like I'm missing easy shots. You know, if if you do that, then you obviously yeah. need to change that. But I mean, it's, yeah, it's just a feeling. And right, wow, <laughs> I think I've been lucky here. <laughs> yeah, you have been. <laughs> who do, who oh. do you? Is there anyone you love playing more than any? Who do you, who do you like playing? Or, who, who do you, or both, who do, you, who do you love playing against? Uh, ho -ho, um, good question. I love playing Williams, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I thought that was going to be a real tough match for you out there at World Championship. Yeah, like, that was a, yeah. you, you played unbelievable at the end of that. Yeah, that was for me a big um, achievement in my career, to beat him right. in such a long game, because he's so tough, I think. Mm. And he's, he's so clever in his shots, you know? Yeah. He plays so different shots than anyone else, I think. Right. Um, so yeah, Williams is always special to play in. Uh, I used to love playing Peter Rabden also because he just played really? different shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I hate playing Peter Rabden. Yeah? Oh my God, it's because his shot choice was so weird. Yeah, that, that's like why sometimes I like. you, you, But you come to the table and the balls weren't where they should be. <laughs> and I just like, what, what, I just like, out of my comfort zone. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> So obviously you don't mind playing slower players then. If you like playing Peter Ebden, you don't mind players that I don't think Peter was that slow, to be honest. I think there's many players slower than you. I think he was at the end. I think in between he was very yeah. slow, but then yeah. at the end he was, he quickened up a little bit. I think players like Lee Walker and, I think Lee Walker is quite slow, to be honest. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing, you know? It's yeah. just how he plays. But you've got, you got a decent record against Ronnie, haven't you? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so, actually. No? I beat him twice, and he beat me six times, maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of the, the years that I've, I've sort of paid attention. I'm not the best stats man in the world, but... No, I know. I certainly love, but, um, <laughs> but you've been in, the, what, the semi-final when you won the China Championship, and then... Yeah. So you still love playing snooker though, even though you don't practice. You, yeah. still, you still love playing snooker. Yeah, that's, that's what, something people get wrong a lot of yeah. times. Because I, I love playing yeah. competitive. Right. But I don't really practice. But it's not because I don't like practicing. Yeah. Because sometimes I play at home and I really enjoy it. But yeah. I just do so many other things in my life that I just sometimes don't play. Dar darts? Yeah, but not so much the last few months. Oh. Ah. Not so much darts. No, the hype is, is gone. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit.
So you, you, your aggressive game, I mean, you basically, you, do you not like safety play or you just rather just be no, hyper, like see a pot and, because your, your safety game is, is, good, is, is, is good. Yeah, my, um, I think I said it in an interview at the Worlds, I said, I have a B game, but I just don't play it, you know? Yeah. Um, but sometimes I do enjoy it to play safe right. and things like that, but I just think my potting is better than my safety. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes you see a pot and you think... Well, it's, it's, if you're going to lose, you may as well lose attacking yeah. than, than defensive, and I think. I get so many of the, the difficult shots, you know. Yeah. You can take the black out here. Yeah. Oh, he's missed it. Mm. I'm probably the best doubler in the game, no? <laughs> <laughs> well, against the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, has to be a triple, I think. You have to nominate the pocket. Yeah, that one. Okay. Oh, close. Keep going. Oh, I can't, I mean... <laughs> I, can't, I can't just go with that, can I? Just... It's close. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was one take as well. When everyone says, oh, you, you must have had a few goes at that. That was one take. Amazing. <laughs>